Ever since I started exposing the Illuminati conspiracy back in 2009, I always expected them to make a move once a truth channel gets popular and reaches millions of people. But I was always realistic about it, and I knew they would do it in a way that would not be obvious, and not look like it's directed specifically towards truth channels. Going around and deleting videos or channels without good reason would look suspicious to both the YouTube support staff and the truth community and skeptics in general. So, they hit us in another clever way. It seems it took them several years to infiltrate YouTube and hit truth channels specifically. Here is what they did. 1. They made sure that videos that expose Illuminati events, such as 9-11, the Boston Marathon bombings and the Islamic State CIA videos, become really hard to find on YouTube, by making them show up at the bottom of the search results. For example, when you search for Islamic State fake, only videos that don't really show proper evidence, get listed on the first page. I had a video that was called Jihadi John Fake Beheadings, it got 600,000 views in one month, it was always on the front page, but overnight, it disappeared from the front page and views almost completely stopped. Another way to minimize views certain videos get, is by preventing videos to show in the subscription feeds of subscribers. And that is exactly what is happening as well. And I, when I came back last week, I checked my website, the numbers are doing better than ever. Facebook, the analytics and the insight, they're doing great. Everything's fine until I checked my YouTube channel to find out that we're getting the lowest number of hits than ever before and two thirds of my videos have been demonetized. Not many people know this, but my main source of income is YouTube advertisement. It's an ethical way for you to choose. If you wanna watch an advertisement, you will. If you don't, you will click skip or have ad blocker. It is your personal choice. But with that income that we used to have, we used to sustain this entire operation. With these latest changes, there's no way, shape, or form I could even continue what I'm doing right now because of this sudden, unexpected, unexplained change. Now first, I just sent all the videos that were demonetized randomly, including the top videos, to YouTube, to the support network. And I told myself, maybe it's me. Maybe it's not just, you know, because Facebook is doing great and the website's doing great. Maybe it's something that I'm doing wrong with the YouTube channel. Let me bust my ass and do everything I can to do the best content I can this week. And I created 14 videos. 14 videos this week, and a lot of them have been demonetized, and they're getting record low numbers. 2,000 hits when we have 200,000 YouTube subscribers. Why is this happening? Well, I could just think of a couple things. Look what just happened with antiwar.com. Antiwar.com, a very popular alternative independent news site. They had their AdSense account totally taken away because of images that they posted from Abu Ghraib. Uh, AdSense came to them and said because of our policy of not showing gore, we're going to take your AdSense account away. Antiwar.com made a big public stink about this and everyone pointed out the fact like, hey, all these other mainstream establishment toe the line kind of media websites, they have a lot more gore than Antiwar.com. Why don't you take away their AdSense account? Why was Antiwar.com targeted? Google and AdSense, which the, are the ones who are taking away my revenue now, they said, okay, okay, we'll, we'll reinstate it. And then they, oh, they came back even more saying, oh, well, you have pictures of the Ukraine conflict that are pretty gory. We're going to just take it away again. So they totally backed off, total censorship, cut off the total supply line, the financial line for antiwar.com, threatening their establishment, threatening their alternative independent media while allowing all these other mainstream media outlets to show gore. So why are they doing this to me? And the official response I got is uh, the main two videos were about ISIS and they said it's sensitive content. There was no gore, there was no nastiness, there was no killings, there was no blood, nothing in those videos. But they said it's sensitive content. All the other videos that they randomly demonetized, they said that they need to send to a special team, a special unit that's above them to investigate this. And they have yet to even respond to me in any any way shape or form and they just destroyed my main flow of income which makes me not able to work and pay off the servers the data bills the employee that I have I asked my audience on Facebook and Twitter are you even seeing the videos in the subscription feed and this is what they had to say nope I see them but I see them on Facebook posts before the YouTube posts no not really I usually have to view your channel in order to view your videos not as much as I have in 
the past. So even the 200,000 plus YouTube subscribers that we engaged in, that I worked so hard throughout the years, putting on my blood, sweat, and tears, interviewing politicians, getting a gun to my head in Chicago, getting threatened and harassed and intimidated for the reporting that we do, they're not even getting the videos that are supposed to be given out to you. And of course, uh, Google announced their new algorithm where they're gonna be deciding if something is truthful enough and they will hurt its ranking in the search engines if something is not truthful to them. So no longer are articles and videos based on popularity. If you like them, if you find them honest, if it's your personal truth, if it resonates with you, you will share those. Now Google's gonna downvote them, bring them down in the algorithm, which they have right now to our YouTube channel, all of a sudden, just like they did to antiwar.com, and it's a clear case of censorship. Two, they make sure that genuine truth channels cannot make a living on YouTube by simply disabling ads to be shown on certain videos. For five years, most of my 9-11 videos showed commercials, mostly as the result of content claims by third parties. But in March of 2015, all ads got removed, without warning. So I sent a message to YouTube and asked them why that was the case, and they told me that YouTube chooses to not run ads on videos with sensitive material. It's clever because most Illuminati events involve people getting killed in false flag attacks, and thus the videos exposing these events will always be sensitive. In other words, they can make sure that all videos exposing the NWO get demonetized and thus more and more people will stop making videos about it. This is a genius plan to slowly get rid of new truth channels. The only channels who will remain untouched by this, are channels like Mark Dice, who just covered topics of no real importance. Remember that this was put in effect in 2015, 14 years after the actual World Trade Center demolitions, it makes no sense why they would decide to deem World Trade Center footage as sensitive or controversial so many years after the attacks. So I was trying to figure out why they would start to do that now, and after some research, I found out. Apparently a lot of new 9-11 material got released under a Freedom of Information Act just two months prior. It appears that this is an attempt to discourage people from making new documentaries or compilations, because let's face it, most people, even if they have good intentions with educating people, do not have the spare time to work on videos for days, and not earn any money in return, after all. Time is money, especially in this economy. Thanks Obama. So, in short, any popular video about the 9-11 conspiracy, or video exposing false flag events by the CIA, will secretly get demonetized, and by secretly I mean, the monetization button will still display a green color and list as monetized, but without ever actually showing any type of advertisement. And I'm talking from experience. But this is just the start, the real censorship is likely yet to come.